Welcome back to day number three of the internet trying to convince me that this 510 right here is not the best vice ever made. Right here, the internet says this one is the number six record. So the score is Fireball 2, record 0. In today's tests, we're going to be looking at the engineering behind this dynamic jaw. So first things first, let's take both vices apart. There's something keeping the dynamic jaw inside the static jaw. So let's just pull the pin and we'll pop it loose. Let's put the vice in the vice so we can do vice things. Okay, careful not to lose the pin. So that's stinky. Not only that, I got to drop this pin out here too. There we go. And now this whole thing should come out. There's some parts. There's one slide. So all we have to do to see the slide here is just unscrew it. Look at the way this is made. Completely two different designs. One is a C shape where all that crud can get inside. See how yucky it is? Look at the screw because it's open to the elements. Look at all the stuff that that screw wipes off. Really makes the vise not fun to operate. Where the hardtail is covered. It's completely sealed. There's no way that yuckum can get in there. This one is four-sided. This and the opening right here are the only two entrances for stuff to get into. But as you can see, the slide is completely sealed off from the elements. All right, let's measure wall thickness. That's exactly half an inch or 12.73 millimeters. Wall thickness on the fireball, also 13 millimeters on the sides, 23 millimeters on the top, which translates to 900 thousandths on the top. So almost an inch on the top and almost an inch on the bottom. So let's look at overall height of the slide. We're approximately just under four inches tall. On the record, we are just a little bit over three. All right, so jaw height, we're looking at three and a half inches for throat. And the fireball vise is also exactly three and a half inches. So let's talk a little bit about the design of the box tubing. If you notice in all the previous testings that I've ever done, anytime you clamp really hard in between the jaws, this jaw wants to go down. Editor, roll a clip of every single vice test that we've done showing the vice wanting to go down when there's a high load in between here. This screw is trying to shorten the distance, but the only direction it can go is down. So does a C-shape resist this bending or does a box tube resist this bending? Because we don't have three sides, when you push down on here, this top piece of material is in tension. There's no bottom to be in compression. So it sits here and bounces. But when you have a top and a bottom, this is in tension when you push down and the bottom is in compression. That's why we want a fully boxed tube. It resists the bending motion. All right, the score is three to zero with the hardtail being in the lead. So what I want you to do is leave some comments down below on what you'd like to see on day number four we test. And we'll do it right here, comparing the record number six versus the Fireball 510. And we'll keep going. 